Welcome to Exploration. In this video, we explore the island of St. John in the U.S. Virgin Islands and identify the top five things to do when visiting. Make sure to watch until the end to hear our bonus travel tips for visiting the island of St. John. The first activity on our list is probably the most obvious, and that is to visit one of the many white sandy beaches. St. John is home to Trunk Bay, which is the most popular beach on the island, the most photographed beach in the Virgin Islands, and is consistently voted one of the top beaches in the world. If you are looking to avoid the crowds, there are several other amazing, less busy beach options like Hawks Nest, which is located just over a mile down North Shore Road. Those who are seeking a truly secluded beach experience can find it at Little Cinnamon Bay, which is also just a short drive and a quick rock scramble away. The second activity on our list is to hike the Ramhead Trail. An interesting fact about St. John is that two-thirds of the island is part of the Virgin Islands National Park. The small island offers many hiking trails within the park, but we recommend Ramhead Trail for the incredible views. And it's accessed at Salt Pond Bay on the southeast side of the island. The trail is a little over a mile each way. This area of the island tends to be drier and visitors will find much different vegetation compared to the palm trees on the north side. The trail eventually leads down to a rock beach and then back up to the top of the Ram Head, where one can see incredible views of St. John and the Caribbean. The third activity is to go snorkeling in the crystal clear water. The best snorkeling on St. John is known to be at Water Lemon Cay. To access the Cay, one would park near the Annenberg Plantation and hike approximately one mile along the Leinster Bay shoreline. Once at the point closest to Water Lemon Cay, visitors swim across the channel to the Cay. The currents can be strong in this area. This area would only be recommended for experienced snorkelers and strong swimmers. For beginner snorkelers, we would recommend the snorkeling trail at Trunk Bay. The fourth activity is to explore Mongoose Junction in Cruise Bay. This area is full of shops and restaurants and even offers an on-site brewery and live music. Mongoose Junction was designed and built by a local architect and the courtyards are beautiful. The variety of local businesses has something for everyone. If you follow our channel, it is probably no surprise that we would recommend stopping by the tap room for a craft beer and pizza. The fifth activity on our list is to swim with the sea turtles at Maho Bay. Not only is this a white sandy beach that is easy to access, but sea turtles love to snack on the seagrass in this area. It's common to find multiple sea turtles hanging out at Maho Bay. Now if Maho Bay gets a little bit too busy, there are other areas the sea turtles like to hang out as well, like Francis Bay and Honeymoon Beach. While that does conclude our list of the top five things to do in St. John, we did want to share some bonus information about traveling to St. John. The island of St. John does not have an airport. The most common way to access the island is by a ferry ride from St. Thomas. There are two different people ferry routes between St. Thomas and St. John and one car ferry route. The people ferry route between Crown Bay St. Thomas and Cruise Bay St. John is approximately 30 minutes. While Crown Bay is close to the airport in St. Thomas, the ferry times can be very limited from Crown Bay. The people ferry route between Red Hook St. Thomas and Cruise Bay St. John is approximately 20 minutes. Red Hook is much farther from the St. Thomas Airport, but this ferry runs throughout the day and into the evening. 
Lastly, the car ferry route goes between Red Hook St. Thomas and Innahide Pond St. John. If you're renting a car on St. Thomas, make sure your rental car is allowed to travel to St. John. Not all rental companies allow their vehicles on the car ferry. Overall, if you're planning a trip to St. John, make sure that checking the ferry schedules is part of your planning process. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found the information to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments. For more adventure travel, consider subscribing to our channel and turning the notifications on.